Hello nurses, hello top notchers, welcome to our online coaching. I'm Sir Jonas Marvin Mercurio Anake, so I'm a registered midwife, a registered nurse, and here is our community health nursing, nursing practice one, rationalization. Okay, so let's begin our rationalization with the situation number one. Public health nurses participate in health screenings which help in the early detection of a disease to identify those who are at risk for a particular disease or condition. Early detection followed by treatment and management of the condition can result in better outcomes and lower the risk of serious complication. Okay, so question number one. So we have your nurse Philomena organized a health fair in one of the communities she covers, which was well attended with several screening tests being given simultaneously. So what would Nurse Philomena consider the purpose of the health fair? So A. Community service B. Multiphasic screening C. Community bonding or D. Case finding So again, so our keyword in your question number one is the word several screening tests was being given simultaneously okay? So yun po yung pinaka keyword natin sa ating question number one So kapag meron po tayong ginawang fair at nagbibigay po tayo doon ng Uh, several screening tests which was been given simultaneously ang tawag po natin doon is your multi-phasic screening okay so that is letter b so multi-phasic screening is the correct answer for question number one why because if we say multi-phasic screening it is the application of multiple screening tests on the same occasion such as in a health fair so sa katulad sa ginagawa ni nurse Filomena sa isang community marami daw silang kinandak na screening test which was being given simultaneously. Kung sabay-sabay po yung ating pag-screen sa mga different conditions, that is known as your multi-phasic screening. Okay? So, multi-phasic screening is an screening for more than one disease simultaneously. The keyword here is simultaneous po siya. Okay? So, example of your multi-phasic screening is we have your number one, pre-employment physical exam. And we have your typical multi-phasic screenings that includes your screening test, individual and family history taking, and your collection of objective health measurements. So katulad sa ginagawa sa health fair na inorganized ni Nurse Filomena, since meron tayong several screening tests doon which was been given simultaneously, the correct answer in your question number one is letter B. It's the multi-phasic screening test. Okay, so question number two, what must be stressed to all participants attending a health fair? So A, a screening program is not a substitute for ongoing health supervision from a healthcare provider. Letter B, all test results are only tentative and so participants who receive negative test results may nonetheless be suffering from a disease. Or letter C, results are true today, but disease can develop anytime, so participants should attend any future health fairs as well. Or letter D, there are many other diseases that may be attacking the participants that the health fair did not screen for, and so continued vigilance is necessary. Okay, so in your question number two, we are uh, we are finding the positive answer. So, ano daw pwede mong stress sa mga participants na umatend sa health fair about the screening, about the multi-phasic screening. Okay? So, is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it letter D? Okay? So, eliminate muna tayo ng isa. So, ang una nating tatanggalin dito is your letter B. Okay? So, sa letter B natin, all test results are only tentative. Tama po yun, Okay? And so, participants who receive negative test result may nonetheless be suffering from a disease. Doon yung mali. Okay? Kasi meron, kayo, meron tayong tinatawag sa ating mga screen test na false negative results. So, what is the correct answer for question number 2? The correct answer here is letter A. Okay? So, letter A ang tamang sagot natin. So, persons who participate in screening programs commonly believe that they have been checked over adequately. So, kapag nagpa-screen test sila, naniniwala sila na kung anong result ng kanilang screening test, yun na yung kanilang paniniwalaan. So, take note, screening test is not a diagnostic test. Okay? So, therefore, participants must be advised that a screening program is not a substitute for ongoing health supervision from a healthcare 
provider. Kasi take note, pag sinabi po nating screening test, that is only a presumptive test. Okay? So, sabi ko nga kanina, screening test is not a diagnostic test. Okay? So, if we say screening test, screening test is a test or series of tests to which an individual submits to determine whether enough evidence of a disease exists to warrant further diagnostic examination. Again, screening tests are not diagnostic. So, example lang ating may screening test is we have your FBS or yung ating uh, fasting blood glucose or hemoglobin A1C or itatawag natin na glycosylated hemoglobin for your glucose level. So, itong mga to ay example ng screening test. So, ang glucose tolerance test naman ay isang diagnostic test. Okay? So, take note that screening tests are a part of the secondary prevention for morbidity, disability, and mortality. So, ano daw yung ating stress during your health fair? The correct answer here is letter A. Okay, so question number 3. As nursing students were setting up a health screening at a local community center, they reviewed the need to screen for heart disease and cancer. So, one student asked, but colon cancer is prevalent, so why aren't we setting up for sigmoidoscopy? So, how would nurse Philomena reply? Okay, so A, can find adequate privacy for sigmoidoscopy. B, a sigmoidoscopy is expensive to perform and invasive. Letter C, would you like to perform the test for the screening? Or letter D, what a great idea. Would you like to help arrange it? So, how would Nurse Philomena reply? So, letter A, letter B, letter C, or letter D. Sabi ng estudyante, but colon cancer is prevalent. So, why aren't we setting up for sigmoidoscopy? So, ano ang isasagot mo kung ikaw si Nurse Philomena? So, is it A, can find adequate privacy for sigmoidoscopy? Or letter B, a sigmoidoscopy is expensive to perform and invasive? Or letter C, would you like to perform that test for the screening? Or letter D, what a great idea. So, would you like to help arrange it? So, by the way, so what is sigmoidoscopy? So, if we say sigmoidoscopy, sigmoidoscopy is a screening test for your colorectal cancer. So, for this test, the doctor will put a short, thin, and flexible lighted tube into your rectum. Okay? So, the doctor will check for any polyps or any cancer inside the rectum and the lower third of your colon. So, it will be done every 5 years, every 10 years, and even every year. Okay? So, ngayon, ano ang pwede mong isagot kung ikaw si Nurse Philomena? So, ang pwede mong isagot dito, Nurse Philomena, sigmoidoscopy is highly invasive and it is uh, expensive. Why? Because sigmoidoscopy is highly invasive and not cost-effective and it is difficult to administer, okay? So, many clients will find this procedure uncomfortable kasi nga, naglalagay tayo ng tubo or yung ating flexible uh, flexible lighted tube sa rectum ng pasyente, okay? So, that is the reason kung bakit hindi natin ginagawang ating sigmoidoscopy sa mga health first sa isang community. So, what are the characteristics of a good screening test? So, number one, we have your, it should be simple, we have also your rapid dapat and inexpensive, safe, and it should be acceptable. Again, so we have your five characteristics of a good screening test. Number one, it should be simple, rapid, inexpensive, safe, and acceptable. So the correct answer here is letter B. Okay, so question number four, sensitivity is the ability of a screening test to accurately identify what aspect of the screening. So A, persons with symptoms of the disease. B, persons who do not have the disease. C, persons who have the disease. Or D, persons who now have a diagnosis of a disease. So again, so ang hinahanap po natin dito is the uh, definition of sensitivity. Again, so sensitivity is the ability of the screening test to accurately identify what aspect of the screening. A. Persons with symptoms of the disease. B. Persons who do not have the disease. C. Persons who have the disease. Or letter D. Persons who now have a diagnosis of the disease. 
So, the correct answer in your question number four is letter C. So, sensitivity is the ability of the screen test to accurately identify the person who have the disease. Okay? So, by definition, sensitivity is the ability of the screening test to accurately identify persons who have the disease because no test is 100% accurate. So, the test results are not always correct. Okay? So, hence, screening results are suggestive and not diagnostic. So, the correct answer here is letter C. By definition of your sensitivity, it is the ability of a screening test to accurately identify the person who have the disease. Take note, sensitivity will identify the person who have the disease. That is the definition of sensitivity. Okay? So, pag, uh, pag yung sinabi naman natin na specificity, reliability, ito naman yung ating next na question mamaya. Okay? So, we have your uh, different examples of your screening test. So, lumabas din po ito sa board exam. So, ang tanong doon is ano daw yung hindi kasama sa screening test. Okay? So, take note, screening test that meet requirements are the following. Number one, serology test. Example of your serology test which is considered as a screening test is the HIV serology and the hepatitis B. Okay? Yung ELISA and your HBSAG. Next, we have also your mammogram for your breast cancer. Next, we have your pap smear or the Papa Nicolaou smear for your cervical cancer. Next, the blood pressure measurement and the cholesterol for heart disease. Then next, we have your Stolgayak test the colonoscopy for colorectal cancer, the eye exams for glaucoma, and of course, we have also your PSA level for your prostate cancer. Okay? So, tandaan nyo po yan, yung mga examples natin ng screening test na yan, yan po'y lumabas na rin sa board exam. So, ang hindi kasali doon is yung urinalysis for your male and female clients. Okay? So, again, so we have your uh, screening test. Uh, we have your... Uh, we have your uh, sensitivity, it will screen or it will identify the person who have the disease. Okay, so question number five. The ability of the screening test to distinguish correctly between a person with and without a disease is known as A. Reliability, B. Sensitivity, C. Validity, or D. Specificity. Okay, so again, so ang hinahanap po natin dito is the ability of the screening test to distinguish correctly between persons with and without a disease. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung mga taong meron at yung taong mga walang sakit. Okay? So, we have your uh, screening test that will distinguish between persons with and persons without the disease. So, the correct answer here is letter C. It is known as the validity. By definition kasi, if we say validity, validity is the ability of the screening test to distinguish correctly between persons with and those without the disease. At pag sinabi naman nating sensitivity, sabi nga natin kanina, sensitivity is the ability of the screening test to accurately identify the person who have the disease. Okay? Again, so sensitivity, it will identify the person who have the disease. Validity will identify or correctly distinguish the person with and the person without the disease. And pag sinabi naman natin reliability, reliability means the accuracy of the screening test. Okay? Reliability is the consistency or the reproducibility of the test results over time and between examiners. Yung kahit na ilang beses mo na siyang tinest, yun at yun pa rin yung result na makukuha mo. That is the reliability or the consistency of the screening test result. And if we say specificity, specificity is the ability of the screening test to identify the persons who are normal or the persons without the disease and host test results are correctly negative when they are screened for. Okay? So, yun po ang ating mga definition ng ating uh, validity, sensitivity, reliability, and your specificity. Okay? So, for our keywords, so, if we say validity, validity will screen or will identify 
between persons with and without the disease. Tantanin niyan, with and without the disease. Sensitivity is uh, a test to identify the person who have the disease. And pag sinabi naman natin reliability, that is the consistency or the accuracy of the test result. And if we say uh, if we say specificity, it will identify the persons without the disease or yung mga normal na tao na nung tina sila ay accurate na negative yung naging resulta. Okay? So, yun po yung ating magiging keyword sa ating, sa ating uh, validity, sensitivity, reliability, and your specificity. Okay, so question number 6. Some common examples of screening tests are the following except so, A, pap smears for cervical cancer screening in women. B, cholesterol levels in heart disease screening. C, PSA levels for prostate cancer in men. Or letter D, urinalysis for male and female clients. Okay, so some common examples of screening tests are the following except letter D. Okay, so letter D is not considered as a screening test. Again, so if we say screening test, screening test is a test or a series of tests to which an individual submits to determine whether enough evidence of the disease exists to warrant further diagnostic examination. So a screening test is not a diagnostic test. So example of your screening test in adults includes breast self-examination, mammogram, blood pressure taking, cholesterol screening, PSA or the prostate specific antigen and the pap smear for cervical cancer screening in women. So, yan po yung ating mga examples of your screening test conducts or performed in adult clients. So, the correct answer in your question number 6 is letter D. Okay, so situation number 2. Situation number 2, Field Health Services and Information System or the FHSIS provides a summary of data on health service delivery and selected programs from the barangay level up to the national level. So as a nurse, you should know the process on how this information is processed and consolidated. Alright, so question number 7. So all of the following are objectives of the field health service information system. Except A. Ensuring that the data reported are useful and accurate and are disseminated in a timely and easy to fashion. B. Minimizing recording and reporting burden, allowing more time for patient care and promotive activities. Letter C. Providing a standardized facility level database which can be accessed for more in-depth studies. And letter D. Completing the clinical picture of chronic disease and describe their natural history. Okay, so ang hinahanap po natin dito sa ating question number 7 ay yung mga objectives ng Field Health Sur uh, Service Information System. Except, okay, so ibig sabihin yan, ang hinahanap na natin dito ay yung hindi objective ng Field Health Service Information System. Okay, so alin kaya dito sa ating uh, choices A, B, C, or D ang tamang sagot? Okay, so the correct answer in your number 7 is letter D. Completing the clinical picture of chronic disease and describe their natural history. Okay, so take note, the following are the objectives of the Field Health Service Information System. Okay, so number one, this is to provide data on health service delivery and selected program accomplishments at the local levels. Number two, it will provide data which then combined with data from other sources and can be used for program monitoring and program evaluation. And number three, it will provide a standardized facility level database which can be accessed for more in-depth studies. And number four, to minimize the burden of recording and reporting at the service delivery level in order to allow more time for patient care and promotive activities. So, yan po yung ating mga objectives ng ating Field Health Service Information System. So, the importance of your Field Health Service Information System includes FHSIS mnemonics. F for your facilitation of your information, 
for monitoring and evaluating health program implementation. So, ginagamit po yung ating field health service information system data para sa ating uh, monitoring and evaluation ng mga health program na inimplement ng ating DOH. Okay? Letter H, it helps the local government to determine the public health priorities. And letter S, service delivery monitoring. And letter I, it monitors the health status of the community. And letter S, it is a source of data to detect any unusual occurrence of a disease. Example, we have your outbreaks, we have your epidemic. So, yan po yung importance ng ating field health service information system. So, facilitation of information for monitoring and evaluation of your health program implementation. H, help local government to determine public health priorities. S, service delivery. Yun po yung ating importance ng ating field health service information system. Okay? So, next, we have your question number 8. The fundamental block or foundation of the field health service information system is the A. Reporting forms B. Target client list C. Output record or D. The family treatment record Alright, so the correct answer in your question number 8 is letter D. It is the individual or the family treatment record. So take note, these are the four components of the field health service information system but we have your building block or the foundation of your FHSIS and that is your individual or the family treatment record. The family treatment record is considered as the fundamental building block or the foundation of the field health service information system. And the second fundamental building block is the target client list. So, ano bang itsura ng ating uh, family treatment record or itong si individual treatment record, okay? So, if we say individual treatment record as the fundamental building block of the FHSIS, this is a document in a form or a piece of paper upon which the presenting symptoms or complaints or the presenting problem of the patient upon consultation, the date, the name, the address of the patient, the diagnosis if available, and the treatment given and date of treatment is recorded. So, dyan po sinusulat yung mga, mga sumusunod na yan sa ating individual treatment record. Kaya, yan yung pinaka-fundamental building block kasi yung mga necessary information about your patient or your client is written or documented in your individual treatment record or the family treatment record. Okay? The next question, number nine, the primary advantage of having a target client list is it A, let nurses save time and effort in monitoring treatment and services to beneficiaries, B, facilitates easier reporting for nurses, or C, it helps nurses to monitor services rendered to clients in general, or D, it facilitates monitoring and supervision of services, okay? So, in your question number 9, the primary advantage of having a target client list is letter A. Okay? So, letter A is the correct answer in your question number 9. Because the primary advantage of having a target client list is to save time and effort among nurses and midwives in monitoring treatment and services to their beneficiaries. Okay? Kasi meron po tayong mga examples sa mga TCL natin like your TCL for pregnant, TCL for postpartum, TCL for your family planning and the TCL for your uh, for your uh, DOTS for the MDT of your leprosy and the under 5 children. So, yun po yung ating mga TCL for monitoring or the target client list. Okay? So, but the primary the primary uh, purpose of your TCL is for the nurse and the midwives to save time and effort. Okay? Then next, we have your question number 10. The nurse uses the FHSIS record system incorrectly when she A. Records a child who has frequent diarrhea in TCL under 5. B. It refers to other sources for completing monthly and quarterly reports. Or C. It goes to the individual or FTR or the family treatment record for entry confirmation in the tally report summary. Or D. Records diarrhea in tally sheet report form with a code of FHSIS 
M1. Okay? So, alin dito yung incorrect usage ng nurse sa ating FHSIS record system? Okay? So, A, B, C, or D. Okay? So, question number 10, the correct answer here, the nurse incorrectly uses the FHSIS record system when she when she refers to other sources for completing the monthly and quarterly reports. So, the correct answer is letter B. Okay, so question number 11. So, in assessing a patient, the blank is used by the nurse to record his or her address, full name, age, the symptoms, and the diagnosis. A. Target client list. B. Output record. C. Individual treatment records. Or D. Reporting form. So, kakasabi lang po natin yan kanina in your number 11. Ano to yung ginagamit ni nurse to record the uh, address of the patient, the full name of the patient, the age, the symptoms, and the diagnosis upon his or her consultation. Okay? So, in your question number 11, the correct answer here is your individual treatment record. So, letter C is the correct answer for your question number 11. Okay? So, if we say individual treatment record, it will contain the date, the name, the address of the patient, the presenting symptoms, the diagnosis if available, the treatment, and the date of treatment. Okay? So, it is just a piece of paper for documentation and recording for the name, the address of the patient, the presenting signs and symptoms upon consultation, the diagnosis if any or it is available, the treatment, and the date of your treatment. So, yun po yung ating individual treatment record. Then next, we have your question number 12. Which of the following is used to monitor particular groups that are qualified as eligible to a certain program of the DOH? A. Family treatment record C. Target client list C. Reporting forms or D. Output record Okay, so question number 12, keyword in the question is Used to monitor particular groups Okay monitor particular groups. Okay, ano yung ginagamit natin dyan to monitor particular groups that are qualified as eligible to a certain program of the DOH? Okay? So, the correct answer for your question number 12 is letter boy. It is known as the target client list. So, if we say target client list, sabi natin kanina, target client list is the second fundamental building block of your FHSIS. Okay, so it is intended to serve as a, as a list for your certain individuals or groups who will undergo or who are eligible to a certain program of the Department of Health. So such a list will be of considerable value to the midwife and to the nurses in monitoring the service delivery to clients in general and in particular groups of patient identified as a target or eligible for one another program of the Department of Health. Okay? So, ang pinaka-primary advantage naman ng TCL, sabi natin kanina, is to help nurses and midwives to save time and effort. So, wag niyo po yan kakalimutan. Okay? So, yun po yung ating target client list. How about if we say the tally or the reporting forms? Okay? Here are the uh, common board questions also according to your uh, FHSIS tally and reporting forms. Okay? So, pag sinabi naman natin reporting forms, reporting forms is the only mechanism through which data are routinely transmitted from one facility to another. So, itong mga reports na to ay sinasubmit natin directly sa provincial health office. So, take note, common board question, it is directly submitted to the provincial health office. Another common board question about the tally and uh, reporting form, we have your ITO form. Itong ITO form na to, ito yung ginagamit natin as the maternal death form. Kapag may mga namatay na nanay sa panganganak like your hemorrhage, obstructed labor, ang ginagamit natin na form dito is your ito. So, reporting forms from the BHU facility is submitted to the provincial health facility. Okay? So, yun ating tatandaan. 
Next, we have also your output reports. So, output reports are solely produced by the Provincial Health Office. Another common board question, sino daw ang nagproproduce ng ating output reports? The answer is the Provincial Health Office. Okay? So, data submitted to the Provincial Health Office is processed during uh, using your microcomputer. So, pagtanoyin kayo kung ano ginagamit natin uh, in processing your data submitted to the PHO, your answer in the board is the microcomputer. Okay? And another common board question is the recommended frequency in tallying activities and services using your tally sheets. Your answer in the board is daily. Okay? So, daily po natin na itinatali ang ating activities and services using your tally sheets. And if the board asks you about the counting of the tally sheet, counting of the tally sheet is done at the end of the month. Okay? Again, so counting of tally sheet is done at the end of the month. So that is your field health service information.